Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the 6-inch Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong with Battle Axe. Now, this version of Kong comes from the 2021 film Godzilla vs. Kong, which isn't out yet. Uh, the movie um, a while ago was announced that it was going to be delayed to 2021, and they're releasing the toys now, which I think is a little weird. I mean, these are great figures, I'm not going to lie, at least the 6-inch line is. Um, I love Kong here, so I think, uh, spoiler alert, uh, yes, you should get this, but, you know, still a little weird, but, again, uh, not complaining. These are still pretty solid figures, so there's that going for them. So, yeah, um, I won't be showing the packaging. I normally would, but the packaging does contain spoilers, so I don't really want to be that guy. So, I unfortunately will not show you the packaging, however, if you do buy this figure, then... Feel free to look at the packaging all you want. So, yeah. Anyway, before we take a look at Kong here, uh, we do have an accessory, which is pretty cool in concept. Um, it's just you know a little axe. It's nothing nothing crazy, but it's still cool. At first, I thought this was like a tree trunk, but like right here, you can see it's like a bone. So I think that's pretty cool. And. This is really cool too. Um, I'm not going to say what it is or what I think it is because I think it's pretty obvious what this looks like, but if you know, and if this is like actually what I'm thinking it is, then this is really cool, and I think like that is really badass, but if it's just like a weird looking rock, then I guess I'm just overlooking things, but yeah, honestly there's nothing really too special about this, it's just an axe, so yeah. And, of course, Kong can't hold it. His uh, hands are made of a flexible plastic, so you can just, like, stretch that and just squeeze the axe right in there. And there you go. He is now holding an axe, which is cool. And now for Kong himself. And first, we'll take a look at the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure, it's not the best I've seen, admittedly, but for what it is, the painting is actually really nice. Um... So let's take a closer look. So most of the fur here is like a very dark shade of brown, a lot darker than the original Playmates Kong. And we do have some uh, black weathering throughout to um, sort of make the detailing pop, which I think uh, looks great. On the leg here, I feel like they might have, um, they might have went a little too far, but other than that, like, you know, the painting for the fur looks great. Uh, the chest, the hands, uh, the feet, and even the face here, that's all painted black. Uh, the teeth are painted a creamish color with a tongue that is painted pink, of course. Uh, the eyes here are painted orange, which look all right. Uh, they're not really like position, uh, excuse me, positioned correctly. As you can, like, it's very small, but like the eye, like the painting for the eyes are a little smaller than the actual like eyes themselves, but still not a problem. Uh, it still looks fine. So yeah. And this bit right here, this is like the main reason why I really want to get this line. If we remove this, then we can see some Jurassic Park counter dino damage. I mean, it's battle damage, but it's dino damage. And I think that this is really cool. I'm not going to, this is actually, like, I am so happy they included this. Um, none of the Mattel figures have this. Um, there's the battle damage line, which is kind of similar, but it's not as cool as this, let's be real. Um, basically, with the um, battle damage line for Jurassic World, you just push that down and then... You know, there's, it's like a spring-loaded thing, and like it, yeah. It's not as cool as this. Like, granted, you could lose this, but that's fine. This is just still really cool. And it just plugs up like that. So, yeah. And, actually, I don't know why I did that, because we need to look at the painting for the uh, wound right here. It's alright. Uh, it's just red. It's not really painted all the way, but honestly, that is perfectly fine. So, yeah. Also... There is a little paint blemish right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is right there. Very small, but still something that is worth pointing out. And that is pretty much it. Let me just, um, excuse me, let me just plug this in. That is pretty much it for the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure is really good for what it is. Um, compared to other figures I've seen, it's not the best, but still, for what it is, this figure has great painting. So, the painting on this figure gets pass. Now I'll take a look at the articulation. And the articulation here is actually kind of shocking. Like, it's so good, I'm surprised that they're able to get away with this. But, well, for what it is, at least. Um, 
Compared to like other figures I've seen, it's not the most articulated, but it's still pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So let's just take a closer look. Uh, the head is on a swivel, and the arms can move upwards like so, and spin around. There's a bend at the elbow, though mine right here was loose, but if it ever gets loose, just push it in more, and it should be very tight. Uh, the wrists here are on ball joints. The legs can't kick back that much, but they can kick forward that much. And you can even bend uh, the elbows, which, ow, that looks like it's painful, any way you want. And that's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. Again, it's not a lot, well, I mean, if you count this, uh, if you count this, then I guess there's that too. Um, it's not like the best I've seen on a figure, but again, for what it is, the articulation here is actually like pretty solid for like a toy like this, so that's really cool. So the articulation on this figure gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure also looks really cool. Um, I don't know if this is accurate to the movie or not, because, of course, the movie isn't out yet, so I don't really have anything to go by as of now, but everything here is sculpted very nicely. Uh, I will say this, the one minor complaint I have with the sculpting, uh, it doesn't really look like Kong has a neck here, which from the side looks a little weird, but it doesn't look too bad in the front, but from the side, it does look a little weird, just nothing. But other than that, uh, the sculpting on this figure is really good, so the sculpting on this figure gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing on this figure is also really cool. So taking a look at the face here, uh, we can see that all of the uh, musculature in the face and everything here, uh, very expressive, uh, the detailing here looks really cool. And the fur throughout also looks great. Uh, everything here for the most part looks well defined, I mean his stomach, uh, that looks alright, but like his arms and stuff, like the detailing here looks really nice. And even the fur detailing on the legs here. Kind of hard to tell because there's too much uh, weathering. But overall the detailing looks very nice. And even the back here. All of the fur and everything. Very nicely detailed. And yeah. Also, I keep forgetting to point this out. But um, the detailing for the uh, wound right here. It's alright. There's a little bit of detailing but not a whole lot. But... Yeah, um, other than that, you know, that's pretty much it for the detailing. And the detail on this figure is, again, really good for what it is. Um, nothing special or anything like that, but the detailing still looks really nice. So the detailing on this figure, I'd say gets a pass. So, at the end of the day, should you get this? Honestly, this is a definite yes for me. Um... It's not a great figure by any means, but for what it is and the price point, you know, you can't really go wrong with it. On Walmart right now, this figure is only 12, or not 12, this figure is only 10 bucks. It's actually a little under 10 bucks before, like, uh, tax gets, um, involved, but, yeah, for 10 bucks, like, this is, like, literally perfect for 10 bucks, like, that is a great price for this thing. Uh, compare that to the original Playmates Kong which was um, almost $3 more, which had less articulation, a pretty, you know, boring-looking sculpt, uh, no accessories, just, you know, you just had a Kong figure. This isn't a bad figure by any means, but compared to this, yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is the much better Kong figure. So, yeah, I will say this, though, uh, the original Kong actually does look like he has a neck, and this Kong doesn't, but, yeah. So, if you're in Walmart, definitely get this. Um, again, it's only like 10 bucks, which is not bad whatsoever. So, yeah, definitely get this figure if you can. And if you want to know how big he is, uh, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant and some hand sanitizer. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zek out.